So there's a big difference between SaaS and I, infrastructure as a service. And it comes down to who owns the data. When we look at those traditional SaaS BI tools, essentially what they're doing is making a copy of your data and storing it into a proprietary environment that's optimized for their reporting engine. And these types of environments work great for small data sets. But when you start talking about large data sets, the costs really become expensive. And they're expensive on a couple of fronts. One is just the cost of maintaining a duplicate set of your data is high. And again, when we're talking about petabytes of data, those are huge expenses to the bottom line. The second is the switching costs. It, say you're unhappy with your SaaS provider that's delivering BI and you want some new features and functionality, you're locked in. You're locked in until you make that investment to move somewhere else. Now you compare a SaaS to an infrastructure as a service uh, solution, that's where you're essentially spinning up the instance of your software and then connecting it to your different sources to do the analytics. And if it's working great, you stay with it. And if it's not working great or if there's another tool that comes along that's even more interesting, you can easily switch out those servers and connect to a new data set. And the benefit here then is lower switching costs, but then also you're only maintaining one copy of the software. And this ultimately allows you as a business to choose where and how you want to store your data as opposed to being uh, limited to whatever that SaaS provider tells you how to store your data in their environment.